Creations Crafters. It's Julie Creek from Creek Bank Creations. I'm here today to share with you the Skinny Dippin' Savannah Belly Band Die. This is a nine die set and you can use it in the mini albums. Wow, there's many other things you could use this for, but um, it goes with our mini album set. If you haven't seen our other videos on the mini albums, you can check those out on our YouTube channel. And I want to go over this with you. This is a nine die set. And the base of what you have is the belly band pieces that connect together in the middle to hold things together. And so you have these two long pieces. And what I want to show you is they mat on top of each other. And if you look closely at this one, you can see it produces a really nice grow grain pattern. So they are designed to layer one on top of the other. And when you die cut them, you have your base piece and then you have your top piece and you layer one on top of the other and you can see there how they layer. Now, in the album that I am currently working on, the summer fun, summer loving album, <clears throat> album you um, may remember that the last thing I did was work on the flat pages. And when I put the flat pages in, I secured them to a cardstock base and I did not adhere that into the album. I worked on it outside the album because I wanted to be able to add a belly band on this. Now, when I went to put the belly band on it, I decided that really what I wanted to do was have a clear belly band. And I'm going to have the two pieces come together right here in the center. So I know this is probably hard to see, but I have cut this, I've cut two of these on the medium weight acetate, and I am going to show you how to adhere the belly band into the page. The easiest way to use the belly band is to build that base however you're going to do your base and don't adhere it into the album. So that's what I have here. I have my flat pages and I have my cardstock. Now I am going to put a clear closure on this that I cut from medium weight acetate, but I did assemble the pieces die cut in color so that you could actually see how I'm going to set this up because if I do it on clear, you're not going to be able to see it. So what I want is my element to be right here in the center and that's where I want my two pieces to come together, just like that. So what I wanna do is decide what I'm going to put over the closure now I could put the magnet underneath the two layers that I have on, but there are extra circles in that die set and those circles are designed specifically for cutting elements to fit on your project to cover up those magnets. So you have several sizes of circles there. You can choose which one you want. I did add these two shapes just as a fun element as well in that set. And then you also have in that set the words best day ever. So those you can die cut and add to your album. In this case, I, I'm going to figure out my placement of where I want my belly band. And then when I come back to cover up my magnet, I die cut the pattern paper with my super tacky tape on the back. And that's what I'm going to use to cover up my magnets. Now, what I wanted you to see when I do this, I can decide, do I want the closure to be lower? Do I want it to be higher? Where do I want the placement? So we are going to mark the placement and then we will put it on the scoreboard and score it. So I will take my pencil and just mark 
right outside of the edge of that paper on both sides. So not right on the cut mark, but just give yourself a little bit of room because that fold is going to be bulky. And then we will score on that line. Once we have our score, we're, we will fold on the score line, get a really nice fold on both pieces. And then we can add our tape between the score line and the edge of the paper. Between the score line and the edge of the paper, we're going to do that on both of them. And if you're working with acetate like I'm doing here, you would do the exact same thing. So you can see here, I have um, moved to just the acetate so that you can see what this is gonna look like. I have added my super tacky tape. We, we will remove the tape liner and then we will adhere these in to the back of that page on our project. So we've got that page that we started and I wanted that long piece to come down from the top and we're gonna center that side to side so I can just decide where I wanna place it and then push that tape into the back and there's my back piece. And then I can do the same thing with the front. I'm just gonna hold that right there, line it up, pull that to the back, and I have my belly band. And then what I need is the magnet. So I am going to open this up. I want the top to close down over the bottom. So I'm going to open the top up and I will put a small piece of tape in the middle of my clear belly band. And then I will put my small magnet on there. Then I will take the die cut pieces that I cut earlier and they have my super tacky tape on the back of them and I will set that right over the top of the magnet and I will open this up and you see I have the magnet showing on the back side so I'll take my second piece that I die cut and set that right on top so it's a perfect match and you see I have the first part done. Now when I go to add the second one I am going to need to line up that magnet Perfectly. So I am going to open it up and put a piece of tape on the top right in the middle where that magnet would go and then I am going to set my magnet on top of the base on the bottom piece. I'm going to pull that closed and I'm going to pick that off so the magnet comes off on the top. Then I have my piece that I die cut and I'm going to put that right on top of my piece. Pull my tape liner off the back. Put my paper on there. Now when I go to put my closure on there, it'll close very nicely and I can put my top piece on there. And now I have created a belly band to hold my pages. And in this case, it's clear so that I can see through to what is underneath the belly band. So sometimes you'll want to make it out of cardstock or pattern paper. This time I wanted it clear so that I could read that expression. And now I'm ready to put adhesive on the back of this and adhere it into my mini album. When we add this to our mini album, it secures things so we don't have bulky things flopping all over the place and falling out of the album. And you can see it's just a great closure, especially for the flap pages die. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. You can see more videos about our skinny dipping product line on our website, www.creekbankcreations.com.
www.thepodcastnetwork.com.